Okay, good afternoon YouTube. So we've got a four inch dryer vent here and uh, I'm going to use this to mount my exhaust fan on the garden shed. This is normally set up for a four inch duct to fit in there. So what I did was just measured the diameter of the fan opening. This is a 120 millimeter PC fan. So you've got roughly five inch diameter here so I cut that out and the fan will be mounted to the inside of the shed wall and the vent on the outside so I've got that I've got the opening almost cut I just have to finish cutting that with a jigsaw and I'll clean up the edge with my little deburring tool so I'll show you what that looks like here in a second okay YouTube got the uh, fan mounted in there and then this is the original vent that came on there and what I did was glued a piece of uh, fiberglass window screen, heavy duty window screen inside because I want to keep things like yellow jackets and things like that from climbing inside. So I've got two screws up here that just hold the uh, vent in place. I've got a couple of tiny little screws at the top that go into the fan and then these bottom ones go into the fan and the uh, side of the uh, shed to hold it. And I put some silicone caulking in there to seal it up. But there's, there we've got our vent that'll keep bugs and critters from trying to make a nest inside. And let's go in and take a look at the fan here. There we go. I've got the fan on the inside. The fan is running. i got the thermostat turned on. So I'll put the uh, jump start battery back in front of that. But yeah, that's sucking in air. Yeah, it mainly pulls air in from the side there where I can feel it. And we can go out here. Yeah, you can probably hear the fan running in there. But I think that's going to work well. So this is our uh, main storm direction. comes from like the south, which is here, or southeast. So I've got that sealed up. That's about the same color as the original dark color. The shed had a, a brown colored door. In fact, you, you can see the uh, latch here is about the same color. So I think in a year or two that'll kind of bleach out a little bit like this side has. So up here, solar panels feed into the charge controller and then inside charge controller and then I've got the thermostat set the fans running batteries getting charged and so then I've got my auxiliary power strip here I've got an extra lighter socket banana jacks and I've got a 2.1 millimeter power plug there and I've got my fan running so now all I need to do is put the jump start battery back in there and then down below is my uh, backpack sprayer, which also has a battery. This is my uh, jump start battery right here, which isn't plugged in right now. So I'm going to unplug the backpack sprayer. So I've got no batteries in the system. You can see the uh, charge controller just starts flashing because it, it doesn't see any battery voltage. But the fan is still running. So even with no batteries in the system, this fan will still work. And then if I go up here and plug in a battery, now I've got a battery and it's just in float charge. I think that's a very clever little controller. It's, it's the only solar charge controller I know that'll run without a battery. So you just have to have any two of those three connections made up and it will do something. You can have solar panels and fan only. You can have solar panels and battery only. Or you can have all three and it will still work. I'll get the uh, jump start battery back in there and I think this project is finished. So I've now got a solar cooled shed and then I've got the solar lights. I'll try to do an update video uh, another month or two and we get get some good hot sunny weather and I can measure the temperature in here 
and then go uh, turn the fan on and see how quickly it comes down. So yeah, stay tuned for that video and if you have any questions about the system, post up in the comment section below the video. I'll put a link to some of the other videos in this series on the uh, left side there. And as always, thanks for watching.